Hi there. Thank you so much for joining us today for our panel discussion. I am so fortunate to be here with Kathy Richman and Linda Baker. I have the topic today, but before we get to that, please join me in prayer. Let's just take a moment and get centered. Let's take a breath together and turn within. Father, Mother, God, we rejoice in this opportunity to learn, to laugh, to love, to be together. Even though it's virtual, we know that heart to heart, we are connected with one another and every person who thinks on us or watches our video. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. So I'm back in, and I know you ladies know I love this one. I'm back in the Unity booklet. I think you can see that. Love, Healing, and Abundance. And I'm going to read to you an article by Reverend Winifred Wilkinson Hussman. That's a big name. And the article is titled, Let There Be Love. And I'll read it real quick, and then I just can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> Everybody loves somebody or something, sometimes, somewhere, somehow. Love must play a part in the life of every individual. It is our very nature to love. Love is a part of life and living, and without love, people perish. As those are seeking to unfold all the faculties under God's direction, we can be guided into the right use and development of this power. As we let the divine interpretation of love unfold in our lives, we will find that it opens the door to experiences of God's good above and beyond anything we have ever thought possible. In spirit, love is the pure essence of being that binds together the whole human family. It is the harmonizing, healing, unifying, attracting power in the universe. In nature, it works as gravity. In divine mind, it is the idea of universal harmony and unity, that which binds together the whole of God's creation into one harmonious unit so that even the tiniest movement of a person's finger displaces out atoms out in space and the thoughts and feelings of our civilization combine to form a human race consciousness, which determines the future of all humankind. We are indissolubly linked with everything in God's creation. And the only place we can ever be separate from it is our own feeling and thinking nature. Love is. Love continues to be. Just as the sun continues to shine, whether or not we know it is there, whether or not we can see it, whether or not we believe in it. On the level of mind in the human plane, love or oneness, a sense of identification, is the power that draws people together as families and as friends. Also in mind at a higher level of development, it can be the inner light that enables us to see the good in all persons, to identify with the higher nature of other individuals, even when they fail to express it. As Charles Fillmore explains it, love is an inner quality that sees good everywhere and in everybody. It insists that all is good, and by refusing to see anything but good, it causes that quality finally to appear uppermost in itself and in all things. It is not necessary for us to like all that we see in our world. We do not have to agree with the wrong things that people do, but regardless of appearances, 
we must love the Christ or God in all persons and all things. We must because it is our nature to love and because he first loved us. Okay, so that was the reading and I'll let you ladies share. I want to tell you that what I thought was so powerful in that was the reminder that even when we don't see it, even when we don't believe in it, love is our nature. It is our right. It is our very being. So thank you for letting me share. And I can't wait to hear what you ladies think. <laughs> oh, I'm anxious to, re to respond to this one. All I could where I went with this is years ago, I started an a, a foster agency for infants and toddlers. And I did this a lot of research. And what I found was love, the act of love, touching, holding, speaking the words of love is just as critical as the food that we're, the bottle we're giving the baby. And what's really interesting is they said nine months while mama's carrying that baby, the love that she's feeling and people wanting to come up and touch the baby bump, that's all important and into the next 24 months. So the she, the books that, I, the one book that I really, really use said, you've got about 33 months, nine months in utero, two months, two years after that. And when you surround a baby with the love in that period of time, their brain actually develops. It develops the ability to love. It develops the it develops the ability to feel compassion. And like I said, it's just as important as the food that you're feeding them. So love is a is is such a critical component uh, in all of our lives. And it starts at the moment of conception and it's fascinating. And without it, it's devastating. And one of the books that I was introduced to talked about some of the uh, of our most heinous uh, crimes and criminals and what their thir first 33 months looked like. And it was absolutely absent of love and caring. And therefore, they didn't know how to give back. And so anyway, that topic, when you brought it up, I'm like, that's something I know a little bit about. So thank you so much for sharing that. And I hope that what I added uh, just makes it easier for everybody to understand. How about you, Linda? Hey, everybody loves the topic of love, don't they? <laughs> I mean, really, uh, love is just a, a simple word, but look at it. Look how far out it expands. I mean, we love our parents. We love our spouses. We love our neighbors. We love our animals. And we love spring. We love the flowers when they bloom. You know, it, it, it is such an expanding word. And the whole time that it expands out, it's like it's growing within. And that's, that's my initial thought. Did anyone else have anything they wanted to say about it? Well, good. Let if if I can, I'd like to take you into a prayer with that thought. We sit back and take a breath for a moment. Lord, we are here for each other. Remind us of our connectedness to one another, and allow us to express the beauty and the love and the importance of our own inner blossoming. Thank you for this message. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Well, uh, thank you, panel. That was a wonderful subject. I loved it. If you out there in YouTube land like it, uh, leave, us a, leave us a comment, uh, thumbs up or, um, Give us a call at the office if you like, 619-579-9586.
and tell them you'd like to join the panel. Come be part of the show. <laughs> and uh, subscribe. You can subscribe to the uh, show. And uh, just remember our vision is to be a welcoming spiritual home where the loving presence of God inspires and transforms lives. With that, thanks. Thanks, everybody. Come again. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, and let's stay connected and grow in spirit. We are on Facebook. Search for Unity Church of El Cajon and follow us and like our posts. You can reach us on YouTube at Unity Church of El Cajon. Please subscribe to our channel, watch our videos, and leave comments, which can help us improve. We are on the web at unityofelcajon.org. Email or call our church office to receive our weekly newsletters, which lists all of our activities and opportunities to learn and grow together.